Hey guys, welcome back to Study Club. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five different things you can do on GoodNotes to enhance your notes. If you've seen some of the other iPad videos on my channel, you know that I use GoodNotes. I have started to write my lecture notes in the lecture, and obviously different lecturers go at different speeds, so sometimes you have to be prepared to write pretty fast. Before I get into the note taking tips, I wanted to quickly share with you the screen protector that I have on my iPad. So for about six months since I got my iPad, I've been using the paper-like screen protector, which is meant to give your iPad screen that paper texture to sort of emulate the experience of writing on a notebook, for example. I find it really helps me to write my notes quicker and also gives me more control when I draw because it's more like you're drawing on paper rather than glass which is super beneficial. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase it. I do really highly recommend it. Ever since I've got it, I've found writing on my iPad so much easier and it's really helped me to switch onto digital note taking. One tip that I sort of started using on GoodNotes was to pre-screenshot all of the images and diagrams and relevant tables uh, before the lecture. What I do is I go through the slides and use the clipping tool and then I will just outline each of the diagrams, tap on it once, and then press take screenshot, and I'll save each image into my photos folders. And then when you go to write your notes in the lecture, you can easily click the image tool, and then all your images will be in the little bar up there, and they should be up there because they are most recent screenshots, and they will be in order of the lecture slides, so you can sort of just follow that as the lecturer is speaking and then add them to your notes. And sometimes it helps you write faster because a lot of things are explained on one diagram and you can sort of just annotate it in your notes. Second thing that I wanted to share with you about good notes was how to draw really cool diagrams. If you've gone through my Instagram and seen some of the images on my digital notes, you'll see that sometimes I do draw my diagrams. In the past, I would sort of just draw it freehand and then color it in, however, recently, I've discovered a way to draw out more complex diagrams. If you have your diagram image of what you want to draw, it can also be an image from Google you can save onto your photos, but I'm just going to use this neuron from my lecture slides as an example. So what I do is I import the photo of the diagram using the same method I just mentioned in the first tip, and then what you want to do is click on the pen tool, and I tend to use the ball pen just because I like the way it comes out when you write, and I'll make the size of my ball pen around 0.4 millimeters. And then what I do is I, I just trace around the outline of the image what, of what I want to draw. So here I'm just drawing around the neuron, around the cell body, then the axon and the myelin sheath and stuff like that. And then once you've outlined everything you want to draw, what you do is you click the image tool again and select the photo that you were tracing. And then you can easily just press the cross button on the top left hand corner and that will delete the image but leave the trace around it. And then you have like a perfectly outlined image that looks like a really nice hand-drawn picture. And this is really good for more complicated diagrams, like if you have to draw a brain or like some complex body system, this will be a lot faster and also make it look a lot nicer. The third thing I have about GoodNotes sort of leads on to what I just mentioned. Once you've drawn your diagram, you can use the highlighter tool to shade and colour in your diagrams. It makes the colours more muted, see-through and transparent which I really like the style of. So one thing you can do is you can use the highlighter tool to sort of shade. So the best way to do this is color in whatever you want. And then the more times you go over it, the more opaque it'll become and the darker the color will get. So in this example, in the nucleus of the neuron, I colored it in once and then along the side, I wanted to sort of shade it and then just went over it really quickly along the side I wanted to tone the image with. Have a really nice professional look to your drawing that sort of enhances your notes. One tip when you're using the highlighter tool is make sure you turn off the draw on a straight line mode. The fourth thing that I only recently discovered on GoodNotes is that if you have the second generation Apple Pencil um, with the iPad Pro, like the one I'm showing you here, it's really cool. You can double tap the flat edge of the pencil and it will switch from pencil to eraser. And that's really handy when you're like trying to write fast in lectures and you make a mistake, you can sort of just double tap the pencil, rub out your mistake and then continue writing. My next note taking tip on good notes is that if you need to draw a table, this is a really easy way you can go about it. So all you do is you take the thick highlighter tool on good notes and then draw one straight line across. And that's sort of like the heading of the table. So say for example, you're doing like a pro con table, you draw the line and then on the top you put your headers, so you put pros and then cons, and then in the blank space underneath you just write out in dot point form uh, what you want to write in the table. 
And then I just use the highlighter tool again, but a thinner point tip of the pen, at like the lowest one, so like 1.0 millimeters. And then I just draw a line in the middle and then you have a really nice looking table. I find it neater when you don't draw like the lines in between, but you still sort of get the same effective look of a table. The last little tip I recommend you do is that when you're writing your notes, you can use the narrow ruled template. So that's what I typically write my notes in. So once I've finished all my notes, I will then go into the three dots and click change template. And then I'll convert it back to the A4 plain paper. And by doing this, I think the lines sort of can be a bit distracting sometimes. So removing them just makes it look a bit nicer and you still have the straight lines when you're writing because you previously used the template. But it's a little hack how I get my notes to stay in straight lines. So that was everything for the note taking tips. But there's one last thing I wanted to mention about organizing your notes in good notes. What I do is I basically write all my notes in a notebook. So for example, my physiology subject, I'll write the course name as the title of the book. And then in this notebook, I will write all my lecture notes in there just continuously one after the other. And then I will store that into a separate folder with the subject name. And that way you have all your stuff relevant to that one subject in a folder. And in that same folder, I will store lecture notes, like annotated lecture slides, the notebook, and then any other relevant documents that I need to annotate on my iPad. It just makes things a lot easier to find and more cohesive on your iPad. And with that being said, that is everything I had for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you found it useful, leave a comment down below and let me know if you write digital notes or handwritten notes. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel down below and turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post next. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!